Australia, we need to talk. 2021 was different. It wasn't the first year that women were harassed, unsafe, violated, dehumanised, ignored, disrespected. It wasn't the first year that women spoke up. And we say enough is enough, no more, no more. It's not that they don't know what needs to be done, they refuse to do it. Racism, sexism and discrimination are built into the structures all around us. In homes, in workplaces, everywhere, even in Parliament. An explosive allegation that throws the spotlight on the culture inside Parliament House. But 2021 was different. More Australians started to listen. The more people listened, the more familiar the story became. Women right round the country said, this is my story too. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted or raped in their lifetime. If you're a First Nations woman, a woman of colour, a woman living with a disability or are queer, those stats are even worse. The simple truth is I was bullied out of my job. I remember him saying, don't make a sound. Well, hear me now, using my voice amongst a growing chorus of voices that will not be silenced. Australia is riddled with human rights violations and gender-based violence. And all these stories are connected. The collective voice that roared in 2021 is not going away. We want an end to the darkness. I do not want what's happened to me to happen to any individual ever again. We are all here today, not because we want to be here, but because we have to be here. I'm not fearless. I'm like most women who report these incidents. We're standing together. We will not be silent. We're tired of empty promises. We can educate the future generations of Australia. And it begins right now. That's a new Paralympic record. When we work together, this movement is unstoppable. We will turn that wave of women's anger into a tsunami of change. No one should underestimate our passion. Let's keep fighting for safety, respect and equity. Enough is enough. We must act now. Let's make some noise, Australia. Every woman in Australia deserves access to a safe place to work, a safe place to live, fair and equal pay, quality free early learning and care, and a justice system that works for survivors. Create free and accessible early childhood education and care. Expand paid parental leave. Act on the National Plan for First Nations Women and Girls. Deliver strong, consistent child sexual assault laws. Insist employers step up to prevent sexual harassment and bullying. Establish 10 days paid family and domestic violence leave. Support laws to get rid of the gender pay gap.